Is this plant dangerous? Let's talk about it. Well, they certainly look scary at least. I mean, red is the color of danger, is it not? Plus, when you break these stems off, you get this scary white latexy sap. Plus, if you read about them online, they are listed as toxic, just like your ex. Now, because of all of that, every year when we make content about poinsettias, invariably we will get people commenting things like, oh, they're beautiful, but I have cats. I can't have this plant. So let's dispel some myths. Now, when it comes to pets and plants, the word toxic can be a little bit misleading. A lot of people think that toxic means instant death, or it means something very serious when it comes to their pets. But toxic might also mean just something simple like possibly an ulcer in the mouth or an upset tummy. In fact, as far as plants go, poinsettias are very low on the toxicity scale, especially compared with other types of plant that you commonly see used as houseplants. As a general rule, you would have to eat a whole lot of poinsettia flowers, bracts, or leaves in order to get any type of level of toxicity. If you happen to have a cat that does like to devour houseplants, yes, put it in a place that it's not going to be accessible to the cat. Or you could check out one of the other videos where we talk about ways to deal with cats that like to nibble on houseplants. And in humans, the toxicity is so low that a child would have to eat multiple entire plants of poinsettias in order to get any type of adverse effects. Plus, who lets their kids eat their plants anyway? Ultimately, obviously, the decision is up to you because you know your situation with your pets or your children better than anyone else. But I will say that my family has been selling hundreds of thousands of poinsettias over the span of many decades and putting them in hundreds of thousands of homes throughout generations. And we've not ever had anyone tell us that their poinsettia has poisoned a member of their family. So if you've had your eye on a poinsettia but have been hesitant to bring it into your home, I just wanted to let you know that it's not as scary as you think.